Um, talk me through your, your emotions right now. I can't really, you know, adequately describe it. Like, just 100% relief. Um, this week is kind of like, I don't want to say we were getting desperate, but we were really, really, really wanting this, you know. So, as a group of players, I'm so happy for all the lads, everyone, you know, we've had a good season. We really have. If the knock hadn't done half the stuff we do, then we probably would have got a lot more credit for the season we've had. So, I'm just, I'm just really happy. Um, you know, an, an FAI Cup medal for, you, for yourself, it's such, it's such a, a long time dream you've had. You went over to England and then you came back and you managed to do it now. 100%. Look, this is my third final, like, this is my third time lucky. I've had two losing dress rooms, which is a terrible place to be, you know, it's, it's just brutal, like, so you're in there and you don't want to talk to anyone, you don't want to make eye contact with anyone. And now today, it's just a complete other side of the scale, it's just pure happiness, everyone's over the moon, everyone's put in such a good, such a good season. We've had 21 clean sheets out of 33 games, we've had a the top scorer in the league, Sean Maguire, we've beaten Dundalk three times, like, we, we deserve this. You know? Cork is one of those places where an FAI Cup win really means so much. It, like, uh, with all due respect, like the Dublin teams and stuff, Cork is like it, it's one of those places. It's just football mad. They don't understand it's sport mad. You know, yeah. it really is. Like when, when the gal lads go out, everyone turns their attention to the, to the soccer, and then when we're finished, everyone turns their attention to, to the rugby. Whatever, it's, it's just sport mad. And, the support you get like from, from everyone is just immense and I'm, I'm, I'm really happy for everyone to travel today. Dundalk of course have had so much to do, they've had so many games, they just travelled from Russia to play here today a few days ago and they put in 90, a real 90 minute shift against Zenit St. Petersburg, that probably did play a bit of a factor in your performance as well today. I don't care, you know, I really don't. <laughs> I could have played them this morning for all I care, I, I really don't. Uh, as I said, we've beaten them three times this season, this is not a fluke, like, oh, yeah. you know, it's, it's been coming so I just I'm just I'm just so happy you could tell from the way that you were diving into those tackles and stuff and even your little kerfuffle with Kieran Club yeah. the second he came on you desperately wanted this result you know Rob Rogers said to me this is not gal as kind of <laughs> what I mean? which it kind of felt like it was for a couple of minutes but uh, as I said I, like it was it's my third final like I couldn't even all week I've been thinking about Macmillan and thinking about Kildoff. I, I didn't even want to think about losing today. Like I really didn't. I, I couldn't even think of that, you know. So to get this is it's just it's just pure pure joy. Well, congratulations, sir. Thank you very much. Fair play. Appreciate it, lads. Stay home, with us. Thank you. Uh, Daryl, talk me through how that that team and that, how that dressing room is at the moment. Silent. Uh, it's really, really tough hit to sort out the minute. Uh, very, very hard to take. But, so congratulations to the Cork. Absolutely. Uh, just, you, you, it must have just taken so much out of you to, to go to Russia, come back and play a game two days later and go the whole 120 minutes. Ah, look, we're not going to use that. an excuse. No, no chance. Um, I'm far away. Sometimes it goes like that. Um, I thought we played well for good long spells in the game. Obviously, I think Cork definitely had their spell uh, just after, just after the start of half time, you know. But um, I think in a sense we might have prepared, played, played better in the game. But uh, just want to know, we haven't won it. Two weeks between now and your next game, it's unheard of for this Dundalk team. Yeah, we've uh, we've time to sit down and reassess. We probably need it after after tonight. You know what? Ah, it's hard to take right now. Yeah, of course. And it, it must be sort of, I know it's, it's hard to think about other stuff at the moment, but you've got the, the international coming up as well. It was a big honour for you midweek. Well, hopefully. Uh, I'm not in the squad yet. And hopefully I will get in, and Boiler will get in, and you know, we can go from there. But um, I know it's just uh, it's the furthest part back of my mind as it could possibly be. The things that the Martin set, has said about you, new Numerous times at many press conferences, in many interviews, it, 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 like it, it, it must be a huge honour to hear that from the international, the manager of our country. Ah, uh, to be thrown in, in a room with the names that are in there, and you know, yeah. the talk about getting represented for your country is one of the biggest honours you could possibly have. You know, it's every young lad's dream to play for his country, and it's always been mine. And you know, if I get the opportunity, hopefully I'll be able to take it. Um, and uh, as we say, the Europa League group is still very much on. There's 
is still a very real possibility of you getting out of that group despite the last two results. It, it, um, I mean, you got Alkmaar back in Tala in two weeks' time. Yeah, huge game for us. Um, you know, I think no matter what happens in that game, now it's all going to boil up to Tel Aviv. But um, hopefully we can we can put on a, a good show, put ourselves in the best possible position we could be in. What's the plan for yourself? What, like, what, what do you plan to do? I mean, the, I, I know the international would would take a, a big thing for the two weeks. What, what, do, you, what do you plan to do in, in that little break? Because as I say, you, you haven't really. Yeah, when's the last time you had two weeks off? Well, off? No, we'll be in training. No, we'll have the week. Uh, two weeks between matches. Well, not the weekend, but we'll a few days now and get in, do a bit of training, try to refocus and get set for Alkmaar. Thank you very much for your time, sir. Thanks, Pleasure, man. Hard luck.